everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video this is ash slay makeup coming at you and thank you guys again for clicking on this video um so today i'm going to be doing the first video of my three video series that you guys voted on on my instagram and i asked you guys if you wanted me to do one look with one particular lime crime venus palette or a series of three looks one look for each palette and the series won. So this video is going to be a tutorial using the Lime Crime Venus 1, their OG Venus palette. And I'm really excited because I've actually been using this palette a lot lately and it's honestly gorgeous. I just, first of all, packaging, can we just? And then this is what it looks like on the inside. We have some gorgeous red and pink tones along with some neutrals. So this is honestly a really nice palette to have if you want something with a little bit of color but not too crazy. So this is definitely really nice. Um, so yeah, before we jump into this video, make sure to like and subscribe and also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I post a new video. So now we're going to jump on into the video. For this palette, um, we're going to obviously start off with the transition shades. I'm not really quite sure what look I'm going to do with this. I'm going to kind of just like do it as I go, so we're just going to go with it. The first thing that I'm going to do is take this Tarte Double Ended Brush, and I'm going to take the fluffy end of this brush, has two ends. I'm taking the fluffy end, and I'm going to be dipping into the transition shade that I'll be using, which is called Divine. It's this shade right here on the bottom, and it's kind of a like gray mauve almost, so I'm going to be putting that all over my crease just so that I can get a nice base down and I'm patting this into my crease as well as like doing really light blending motions because lately I've been noticing that when I pat my eyeshadow instead of blending it it actually comes off a lot better so that's what I've been doing Okay, so now that we have that crease shade in, I'm going to go in with the shade, hmm, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to go in with the shade Muse, so that's this dark red shade in the corner over here. It's kind of like a dark burgundy, and I'm going to go in with that same brush, tap off the excess. So I'm putting that just underneath where we put that gray shadow and then slightly blending it up and I'm packing on the shadow so that it's a lot easier to blend out. Okay, so now that we have that all blended out, I am going to go in with the shade Venus, which is this shimmery kind of burgundy shade up here. And this is actually going to go in the inner and outer corners as well. I'm just trying to really like deepen up this eye. So I'm going to go in on this Kylie blending brush. This is the brush that comes with her Royal Peach palette, I think. I don't know if she's changed that recently, but that's where I got this one from. So I'm going to be taking that shade, tapping off the excess, and just again going in the same corner, blending it up and around and into the inner corner. Okay. 
So as you guys can kind of see, I am kind of going with this vibe of like kind of like a cranberry purpley red eye. And with that, I think that I am going to attempt yet again to cut my crease and then I'm going to probably do some kind of halo eye. I think that's how I'm going to go with this. So in order for me to do that, I am going to take, oh, let's see. I'm going to take my Vanity Planet smudging brush. I've been using this for like literally everything. I honestly love this brush. It's honestly super nice. So if you're looking for a, a brush to cut your crease with, I'd recommend this. So I'm going to go in on my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer so that I can cut this crease. So I'm going to go in like the center of my crease area and just dab on this concealer. Okay, so now that I have done this halo eye effect, I am going to go in, alright, I think I'm going to go in on this color right here. This is in the shade Rebirth, this really pretty coral shade on the bottom right here. And I'm going to take a Morphe M506 brush, which is a very small tapered brush, and I'm just going to put that on the outsides of this halo eye. going to go in with a Sephora flat shader brush it looks like this and I'm going to go in on the shade shell which is this top pinky shimmery shader right here and I'm going to put this on the center of the lid Now that that's on the center of my eyes, I'm going to take this really shiny, um, almost like a duochrome shadow. It's called Aura. I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to put that right at the very top of this cut crease. And I'm going in with that same flat shader brush. Okay, so now that we have this done, I'm going to go in and of course do some winged liner because a look is never complete without winged eyeliner. 
So I'm going to go in on my Man Eater liner by Tarte. And this is a nice felt tip liner, very precise. And I'm going to do my wing. I think I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more for this part so you can really see what it is that I'm doing. So for false lashes, I am going to go with my go-to's for some natural lashes and I'm going to go in with my Ardell Wispies. I love Ardell Wispies so much because you genuinely get like a really nice like natural lash look but they're falsies and I just really like that. All my other lashes I feel like are a little bit more extravagant and I don't think that any of them really go with the look that I've done today so I'm definitely just going to go in with my Wispies. Alright, so now that we have that done, it is time to move on to the rest of the face. So, for primer, I've actually been kind of going back and forth between the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and the Smashbox Primer Water from Nicole Concilio's uh, collaboration with them, and I'm not really sure what's been going on. I think it might be the foundation that I've been using, I'm not really sure, but lately, like, my nose will get really itchy, and I'm always itching like the size of my nose, and my foundation's always coming off, but it's literally just, like, I've really never like to this extent had that issue that bad and I don't know if it's because of this foundation but other than that like I love this foundation this is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation and I honestly I love this because it is so full coverage it legitimately matches my neck and I'm like a pale ass bitch so <laughs> but um it's just like I don't really know maybe if it's the fact that like there is a scent to this foundation it's very flowery and like perfumey and I don't mind it but the fact that I am getting like really itchy, like literally just in this area, and I don't know why. So yeah, I don't really know exactly what's been going on with that foundation. I don't know if it's the primer that I've been using with it or what, but I'm still going to be using this foundation because this is like the only foundation that I've really found that is full coverage that matches me enough. But um, you know what, we're going we're gonna to see how it goes. So... Lately, instead of the primer water, I have been using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, this one. And I do really like this primer because it is a mattifying primer and it is an oil-free primer. But I don't know, I'm trying to figure out like just the skin weirdness that I've been having. And I exfoliated um, with a scrub a couple days ago and I think that might have made a big difference. So I don't know, we'll see. Alright, so I'm going to be going in with the Huda Beauty foundation. I'm in the shade Creme Brulee because I am really white. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to be going in with that. So let's get started. super white and I swear I'm not this white in person and just like oh it looks so bad oh stand by y'all this camera needs to be centered here we go So now, 
I'm going to go in with my Tarte Pro Glow, not Pro Glow to go, there we go, just the Pro Glow palette, and I'm going to go in with the Cream Contour shade, and it's called Shade. So, I'm going to be going in on that. with the other end of that Tarte double-sided brush. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the powder shade in the Pro Glow Contour Palette, and uh, this is in the shade Sculpt. I'm going to be taking my Vanity Planet Contour Brush, alright, now I'm going to set the rest of my skin that was not contoured but highlighted making sure there was no creasing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in back in with the eyeshadow palette and I'm going to do the under eye. I'm going to go in with Muse, which is that dark burgundy shade in the corner. I'm going to put this under my lash line. And now I'm going to be applying highlight to my inner corner and my brow bone. And to do that, I'm going to take the shade Aura that we put right at the top of our cut crease. I'm putting that right in my inner corner and on my brow bone. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding blush, highlight, and then mascara. So for blush, I'm going to be going in with my Morphe, M, or just kidding, E4 brush, and the California blush from the Benefit Chicacon palette, and just putting that all over my cheekbone. Okay, so then we're going to add highlights, and I will be using the Angels Highlight Palette from Lime Crime, and we have shades Celestial is the purple one, Heaven 24-7 is the one in the center, and Halo is the one on the, um, the yellow one, so it's, that's this one. And I'm going to be going in on my... Packing brush by Morphe. This is the M501 brush. And I'm going to go in on, I think this is Halo.
also went in a mixed um, halo with Heaven 24-7 because it gave me it gave me it gave me a really nice pinky glow but also had that like bright effect when I mixed it with the center one so I'm really digging the way this highlight looks it's so pretty honestly so now I'm going to go in on my mascara and do my lower lash line I'm going in with the benefit bad gal bang mascara Alright, so now all that is left is to apply lips, and I'm really excited for this part because I have the new Lime Crime Wet Cherry Glosses, and I'm honestly super excited about it. So for lips, I'm going to be going in with two lippies from Lime Crime. I'm going to be going in with the Matte Velveteen in the shade Sasha, and also their Clear Gloss in the sh shade Extra Poppin'. It is literally a clear gloss and I'm honestly super excited about this because I haven't seen a clear gloss in a hot minute maybe I just haven't been paying attention but I'm really excited about it and all of the glosses smell like cherries and they smell so good it's not like overpowering either they just smell so damn good so I'm going to be applying sa 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 Sasha A pretty color all right now I'm gonna go over top of this with the clear gloss this is what the wand looks like very thick wand similar to the Tarte Shape Tape wand so we'll see how this goes it smells so good you guys <laughs> Alrighty you guys, so this is the finished look. I'm honestly really digging the way that this came out. I love the way that the gloss looks on top of the matte lipstick. It doesn't feel really like, I don't want to say thick, but when you're, when it's on your lips, it's comfortable. It's not like, ew, you know what I mean? Because a lot of glosses can be very like heavy and it's honestly really nice it's very sheer so any of the colored ones are definitely going to be sheer the pigment is there but they are sheer and I just really like the way that this looks together I haven't really worn glosses in a hot minute so I'm really digging this uh, right now um, but yeah so that is all I have for you guys today so this is the first video in these series of videos of three so my next two videos will be using the second Venus palette and the third Venus palette so I will see you guys next time bye